Hey guys, my name is Nati Rumina and I wanted to show you a super easy but delicious way to create Christmas decoration using epoxy resin from company Resin Pro. And don't forget, I have 10% discount for you. Just write Nati Room promo code and use my discount. Let's go work! This technique is suitable for not just Christmas tree decorations, but keychains look very cool with it. So I'm preparing for the first layer. I will have two main fills, or rather three. I need to make the first layer on which I will place dried fruits and dried flowers. The second layer will be colored, and there will also be a third one on top. Yes, be patient. I mix the medium resin and let it sit to get rid of the bubbles. First layer, you can do it with liquid. And in principle, the second layer can be done with liquid. With a minimum of liquid, they will be as clean as possible, and the toys will look as neat as possible. So I fill in a little less than half. Look, the filling and the main part will be on the lower part. I will use the upper part to create another pattern. So in principle, you can pour it as thick as possible so that it is on the lower side. Let's create the first layer. I dried fruits in a fruit dryer. I also have a video on YouTube where I talk about how I dried moss and flowers. So check it out on YouTube. There are lots of interesting things there. You can use flowers and dried fruits for filling. In principle, you can make different things according to your choice. I'll make one for dried fruits and I'll do it with nail decor. I'll show you everything at the end, how the finished product will look. So, I have a strawberry here. Lay it out. Your dried fruits shouldn't be very large and they shouldn't stick out because we'll cover it on top so that you don't need to sand it later. That is, minimize your work by being careful. The initial stage is ready. Now you can spread apple and kiwi. I've wanted to do this for a very long time. When I get sick of some idea, now I'm sick of dried fruits. And I'll try all the possible products used on equipment, that is. The dish has already flooded fires. Time for toys now. Stones are also great here. Crumbs will be suitable. Feel your inner instinct to decide how you like it when there is a lot of everything or when it's neat. I pick it up when there is more coverage or vice versa, when there is minimal detail. Well, you decide for yourself how you like it. As you can see, I like it when there is a lot of things, generally, actually, but often I like it when there is more. Where else can I add lemon? Let's add some berries. It will be great. Everything is saturated. Here you guys need to sink it very well and let the fruits get wet in the resin so that there are no voids inside between them because we will pour the next layer. I will pour it dense black and if there is a void between fruits, then the black will crawl in there and ruin all the beauty. So check to ensure everything is good. making sure they fit tightly. I also decided to add all these dried flowers. The filling is ready, we leave it to polymerize. When the layer is completely dry, you need to wait for the entire layer to completely dry. I mix a medium viscosity resin, but the viscosity is not critical. You can work with liquid, medium, and thick. I will divide it into two glasses to create two colors. I will make with black resin and pink resin. Look, it's generally cool on white, on pink, on soft blue. Choose whatever suits your mood, then you'll see what happens. 
So ultimately think about what will be the best match with the frosting. Here's a subtle hint for you. I knead the resin, mix it thoroughly, and fully cover our molds, our decorations, so that all the berries are fully covered. Cut thin slices so there's no need to dump heaps onto it to cover it well. And of course it doesn't leak above the edges so you won't have to sand everything later. And the coolest part is demolding. That's my favorite part of the job. Look guys, the next step is if your molds are brand new, not scratched, then you don't need to make a finishing layer. You can immediately start working and filling the molds with glaze. If you have older working molds, then please get some sandpaper, sand them, degrease them, and cover them up. Finish before heading to the next step. Okay guys, now for the fun part. To proceed to the next step, I have to sand the edges because I want to create chocolate and icing drips. Look, I'm removing this part. By the way, this also applies to the caramel edge when cutting the stone you need to soften the sharp edge a bit exactly in the area where you'll create a caramel edge. This is the chocolate dripping, so I want to make a roof for it. So I soften this part a bit, sand it with buff, and accordingly cover the back part with latex. Cover it with a pretty thick layer, overlapping those spots where I've applied latex for them to dry to make my work easier and avoid extra sanding. On the other side, don't remove these drips. So guys, while the latex is drying, I mixed a thick resin, divided it into two parts. One will be chocolate. The other one will be white. So I'll color the white one with white pigment without any luster, and the chocolate one with a slight iridescence make the white really dense, really dense. So for 20 grams, I have 12 drops and mix it well, and you need to let the resin stand to gain viscosity. The drippings that I want to make using live or liquid resin will smear. They'd give those voluminous drips like chocolate and icing drippings, so that's why I chose thick resin. If you pick liquid or medium, then let it stand for a while. My mixture's already stringing along like hot white glazing there. Now for the chocolate coloring and a drop of this pearly looking stuff. After you mix it well, you can now apply the glaze using a toothpick. Let's start with the house. Look, I'm applying the mixture. You can put it on a pedestal for easier handling. I'm applying my resin. I'm applying my chocolate resin to the roof. And at this stage, guys, you should definitely know that your table isn't under any curvature, that your surface is flat, that your resin has gained enough viscosity, and... Look, just type into Google or Pinterest or Yandex, chocolate drips, glaze drips to get it as natural as possible. What you need to do for this, as I imagine, is to make it look like icicles and drop the ice pieces at different distances. Some are longer, some are larger. Then you can take a toothpick and put a little knot on the tip of the drop. This will generally give the most natural effect. And you, you can raise the toy a bit so that it drips a little and allows the resin to converge a little deeper into these drips. You understand, right? These drips themselves should be as saturated as possible, as voluminous as possible, 
This will make it look the best naturally, in the same way we carefully go through all the toys. Look, originally I wanted to make the drips directly on the end, but I thought that it would look cleaner and neater if the end was not affected by the glaze. But you decide for yourself, as you want also a toothpick. You see, I'm pulling more resin onto the droplets. And one more thing, don't remove the bubbles right away. Let the resin stand for eight to 10 minutes so that the bubbles come to the surface. If you just remove them right away, the resin will spread and will ruin your entire pour. So I waited about eight to nine minutes. I have a bar gas burner, a special small one for such pours. I don't use the large burner that I use when removing bubbles during large jobs. For jewelry pours, I use a small torch like this. Don't hold it in place because you can set fire to the resin, especially white resin, remove the bubbles, look further, Observe how the resin behaves because you can adjust it a little more. It can connect, close, so that there are clearer streaks like this. Take the toothpick again and also stretch out a drop. You can pull up a little, that is, lift one edge so that let everything drip, leave it to dry. These are the glazed gingerbread cookies we got. I have even more lessons on the educational platform Patreon. Go look at the boost, choose, and if you do such an experiment with me, I will be pleased to see your work. Have a great mood. Well, then you get it.